TV, the world is thinking. The advocates have once again crafted a very, very... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, shit! Once again, in regards to increasing the, the taxes on this substance to try to legalize it. They are playing, playing our emotions because we're all in a financial depression, recession, depends on who you believe in. There is not a person that has not been affected with the economy of California as well as the nation today. They are trying to glean that one piece of emotion we all have and trying to justify what, what they're trying to do. But I think what we have to do is look at the cost. One of the concerns I have is in regards to substance abuse. We currently legalized, have legalized, both alcohol as well as tobacco. From a public health standpoint, when we look at the costs associated with it, we're talking about the criminal justice system, the social costs. From a public health standpoint, I question whether or not we would reverse our course. I realize there is, that's not going to happen, but it should be as we look to introducing another substance into our society. In May of 2009, the National Center of Addiction and Substance Abuse at Columbia University released a study. It was the first of its kind study in which they went back three years and looked at the spending of the federal government, state government, and local governments on, on substance abuse. The statistics are alarming. And I realize that we don't have time to look at all those statistics, but I think we should concentrate on California, since we're, we are California. The statistics in California, they are talking about raising anywhere from $1.2 to $2 billion in terms of revenue. Well, by the same token, let's analyze that. When you look in 2005, the state of California spent $19.9 billion of substance abuse and addiction, or we spent $545.09 per capita. That's based on a population of 36.5 million. But the state of California collected $1.4 billion, or we collected $38.69 in taxes. Can, can we afford to introduce another subs that is going to be, be abused and is abused? When you look at this right now, a lot of the medical research right now, why are the young people going into the emergency room? Marijuana right now is overwhelmingly surpassing alcohol. It's costing us today. Mr. Lee. Well, first question I'd have for the police chief is, does he think if we made boozy legal, legal, our social costs would go down? I mean, do we want to return to Al Capone and Thompson submachine guns driving around, you know, shooting each other over selling alcohol? And, you know, wouldn't we have more social costs from all the prohibition violence and people getting bathtub gin going blind like they used to back in the 1920s? To me, the argument that the social costs outweigh the taxes, you know, um, or rested on one premise, and that's that all use or consumption would immediately end with prohibition, and we know that's not true. You know, if I went to history, I had a history class in school, and, you know, we know the history of alcohol prohibition, that it just made things worse. We didn't legalize alcohol because we said it's a totally, totally safe drug, it's a wonderful drug that everybody should use. We legalized it because making it legal was worse than, than making it legal, and that's my view with cannabis, that by bringing it into a tax and regulate scheme that we can bring in tax dollars for the government and we can try to mitigate some of the social costs a lot better than we can with a deal. And, you know, that's a very simple argument. Dr. Schoenfeld, was there something you wanted to throw in on this? Uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> alcohol and tobacco kill hundreds of thousands of people a year. Marijuana kills no one. Uh, the, reason, the reason why uh, there are more... Yeah, a lot of, can I just add to what you just said? That a, lot, a lot of people don't realize how safe cannabis is compared to alcohol, that hundreds of frat boys drop dead from alcohol, alcohol overdose every year because we don't teach this, that in drug education, how dangerous a drug alcohol is. Do you know how much cannabis it take, takes to kill a lab rat? 20 pounds dropped on it from 25 feet. That's the only <laughs> way you can kill a lab rat is to squish it. <laughs>